At last, the author of the famous Sayings of Jesus had a name, Thomas. The Gospel of Thomas begins with the following line. These are the hidden words that the living Jesus spoke, and Didymus Judas Thomas wrote them down. It suggests the possibility of an alternative version of Christianity. But where did the text come from? It would take another 30 years for the full story to emerge. Let's take the Gospel of Thomas for example. We know it couldn't have been written prior to 175 AD, over 100 years after the other Gospels were written, because it's written in this Syriac that didn't originate until then. Also, the Gospel of Thomas has some crazy sayings in it. Like for example, it says that in order for women to be saved, they must become men. This was not a canonical gospel. It wasn't written by Thomas. You see, the way plagiarism occurs today is you write something, I steal it from you and put my name on it. The way it worked back then was somebody would write something and steal a famous person's name and put his name on it. Why? So the people would believe it because that person had authority. So when you get gospels like the Gospel of Thomas or the Gospel of Peter or the Gospel of Judas, that is a backhanded way of admitting that the people of God would only agree to believe something if it was written by an apostle. So these ancient forgers who lived a hundred years after Thomas, Peter, and Judas lived just stole their names and tried to get people to believe that those individuals had written those documents when they really hadn't. No, the documents that you have in the Bible are the ones written by the eyewitnesses or those that knew eyewitnesses. Thomas, Peter, and Judas were written much later. You can disregard them.